What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Yasha the Observer, and I'm back again with another one. Um, I'm going to be continuing my regularly scheduled programming starting tomorrow. I got some some interesting things lined up uh, for the future, and uh, starting tomorrow, you'll get a first taste of that, and then I'll be back to my regular scheduled programming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and including Sunday now. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting back into the swing of things, but for right now... Uh, we're going to be getting into Yasha Hime's second season is starting. Um, I'm pretty excited for this. Um, if you saw some of my videos last season, I wasn't overly impressed with the beginning of last season. It just seemed to string along and we weren't getting enough answers and things were just kind of stagnant. And I grew very, very bored. I will not lie. But um, the second half of that season was on point. Like it took a while to, you know, to the 15th episode for for things to really get started. And I, from 15 on to 24, like, it was complete fire. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it took a little while for it to get going, and I got kind of bored and, you know, but then all of a sudden it just heated up. Um, now, I feel like the, the the title of this first episode kind of spoils it a little bit, but it was this, it was working with the theory that I had that uh, when Shishomaru came and gave uh, Toa... Um, the Tensega, even though it's broken, but she can siphon or absorb uh, demonic powers, and she can absorb the demonic power from the sword and, like, produce another sword out of it and bring Setsuna back to life. That's my theory, anyway. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what's, what's, what, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure that that's what's gonna happen. So, um, yeah, no surprise there for me. You know, the title of the episode kind of gives that bit away. Um, so yeah, let's get on into this first episode, episode 25, episode one of season two, um, however you want to pronounce it, however you want to say it, however you want to call it. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully, uh, I'm just hoping we get to see the Higurashis more. I'm hoping we get to see Inuyasha and Kagome in like present time. Um, I hope we get to see Shippo. Where the hell is Shippo? Um, maybe he's dead. I don't know. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on into it. I mean, I get why Shishomaru left, but if I was her, I'd be like, man, fuck you. You left. You're the reason why she did. You're the reason why she did. Come on. Harness that power. I damn dream, butterfly. Kill that damn thing. <laughs> right, you do got more important shit because if you don't hurry and they take her to the underworld. You got it. All she got to do is, come on, don't give up now. Okay, there you go. Manifest that power. It's small, but it's there. Damn, she putting all her demon energy into that. It's damn near turning her back human. Hey, all you need is a little dagger to stab the little fuckers. (laughs) 
All right, can you see the little minions? Where are they at then? Why don't they why don't they appear for her? Come on, see him. See them. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay, she, she tapped in. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, you could stab him with that. It doesn't have to be the biggest sword ever. He said, no. <laughs> Making the bill out of five pounds of crystals and ash. Like why I don't understand why she can't stab him with that little ass blade. Like who cares if it's not the biggest? Hurry. That's what I'm saying. Like, why the hell is she still standing there? What the hell is he making? I'm like, I don't want to deal with all these spirits and demons. Maroha is cold for real, for real. She got demon powers, spirit powers. Well, I guess I should say priestess powers. She got every damn thing. You gonna let her take him? Hey, she's doing pretty good for someone who didn't even grow up in this era. Jockin got the damn fire, like. Hey, plot that bot saga. Go to work. Damn. 
Hey, yo, whatever total size just made her is powerful. Time to go. <laughs> it's like you was dead. You don't even know it, but you was dead. She brought your ass back to life. Try not to die anymore. Yeah, you can only be brought back once. You got to know Tachki and Nikki to get several things that cannot be severed. It turned out to be a fine blade. <laughs> like, what's all up to me? Can you get her a proper sword? Are you going to make her a sword? So I'm a dog. I only got two. Because of the Tensego. Try asking Fulkerson. Why can't he can't just make her one? I don't understand. <laughs> she fought hard to bring you back. All right, guys, that was the end of episode 25, episode one of season two. Um, I'm kind of upset that they spent almost half the episode going over stuff that we already knew, stuff that happened last season. I mean, I get it. It's been some months and they felt like they had to, you know, go over it, but they could have did it in a lot shorter fashion. They didn't need to spend like eight or nine minutes uh, going over things that happened last season. They spent the, you know, first half before the intro going over, you know, the whole season and they spent the next five minutes like whatever. It just, they could have, you know, could have been like eight minutes of other stuff than that. <laughs> but either way, um, it was dope to see Shishomaru stick around and actually care for his daughters. Like, that was, you know, very unique to see, uh, especially the way, you know, half the first season went around. And people were like, damn, does Shishomaru even care? Like, what's going on? Why does he, why is he being so cold to his own daughters? And other? But, you know, he has to do what he has to do to, first of all, keep Ren alive and try to keep his daughter safe at the same time. So um, it's a lot going on there. I'm um, glad Cessna is, I said Cessna, Cessna is back alive. Um, Toei, I'm hoping she finds a weapon soon. I don't know why to, to, to decide, I just can't make her a new weapon, but I guess it's one of those rites of passage where you have to find your own weapon in your own way. I get it, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, first episode back, pretty good. Now I'm hoping they keep this up and they don't like go into like super filler territory because that would annoy me. So <laughs> I'm hoping uh, they keep up with, you know, a good progression of story. You know what I mean? Um, 
So yeah, first episode back, pretty good. Uh, let's see where we go from here. Uh, Sessana has a nice new blade. I wonder, um, can Maroha use her uh, ro- her rouge anymore ever since um, her pearl is gone? Like, did that empower the rouge or did it just give us some more power or is the rouge the rouge regardless? So I don't know. I guess we'll have to see there. No, no, no. I'm, let me back up. She can still use it because she just used it against Kareem Ra. Karimaru, even after the pearl was gone. So just forget all of that of what I just said. <laughs> um, answer my own question within my own question. So it's all good. Um, yeah. So join me next Saturday, guys, for more Yashihime. And uh, yeah, it's been real. I'm Yashi the Observer, and I'm out. Peace. Peace.